Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline. The show is about transforming lives one story at a time, conversations that matter. And we have uh, the amazing CEO of Israeli Guide Limited. He's a licensed tour guide and he's fluent in many languages. Please welcome Yariv Penn to the show. How are you doing today, Yariv? I'm doing great, Nikki. How are you? I'm doing excellent. And and you're calling me now from Israel, is that right? I'm calling from Israel. At the moment wow. it's um, uh, getting late, but uh, yeah, I'm happy <laughs> to speak with you. Awesome. It is an honor for, uh, you, know, for you to uh, come by and share all the great things about Israeli tourism with us. So let's get started. Tell me a little bit about your background leading up to becoming the CEO of Israeli Guide Limited. Well, Nikki, that is an excellent question because my background, the background that led me to what I'm doing today is my childhood. When mm-hmm. your childhood home is located at the site where David fought Goliath, when you come back from school, oh spending your afternoon crawling in caves, finding nests of birds of prey, and enjoying the simple pleasures of, of outdoor life, you develop mm-hmm. a curiosity, a thirst for knowledge about the geography, history of your surroundings. And yeah. I'm lucky enough to have built my 17 year of career as a tour guide on this sense of discovery. I'm sharing mm-hmm. what I learned with others and enjoying their feeling of wonder as they experience the sights, sounds, tastes, and smells of the Holy Land. Yes, and there's so much to Israel that people really don't see. Um, projected on the media, you know, through the media, through TV and that. And uh, it, it, it's been described to me as just, like you said, uh, it's a world of wonder and, and everything uh, to heighten every part of your senses. Um, so tell us a little bit more about your personal connection with Israel. I mean, you said that you grew up there and, and uh, you, you walk past mm-hmm. the place where David and Goliath had their match. You know, I mean, that is that it is uh, outstanding for me. Uh, but there are parts of Israel um, that that people are not aware of. So what else should we know? So unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, what you hear on the media is most of the time is not the exciting news. Uh, mm-hmm. What what else can you expect? You know, from the news from the media. Basically, mm-hmm. I try to explain, first of all, to people that, you know, whatever you're exposed to, information about Israel and the media, it's, uh, to you, it, it seems like it's 100% of, um, of what there is and 100% of the time, but basically those uh, limited events are uh, 1% and it happens in a very limited uh, areas. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing more mostly with the... Uh, the fun part with the exciting part of Israel. You know, it's a great mm-hmm. um, honor and responsibility to be yeah. leading tours in Israel. You know, people, you know, you just told me at the beginning of the interview that it's, um, it's a dream for you to come and it's not meant for you, for you only. You know, how many times I've heard people tell me, you know, visiting Israel, it's my, uh, it's my dream. And we're dealing with dreams of, uh, of people and you don't want to mess up with that. So it's um, it's a great responsibility. I can just imagine, and yes, it is a dream uh, come true for me to visit Israel. I I just have this knowing that as soon as I touch the ground, that I will have an emotional connection, uh, and that I'll be moved to tears because of uh, just just what I have learned, um, my faith uh, as to the Bible, the, the stories that I've listened to. Um, about you know the Bible connections like you just met uh, you mm-hmm. just you just mentioned mm-hmm. David and Goliath and that um, going to the different cities Bethlehem Nazareth that means so much to me so I I'm going to be an emotional wreck but just so happy <laughs> when I'm there so I I can't wait for you to help me connect to all these great places Israel you know have so many aspects I've taken pilgrims you know in the footsteps of Jesus starting from Bethlehem to Nazareth, to the Sea of Galilee, you know, the place of Annunciation, mm-hmm. the, uh, the place of the multiplication of the fish and the loves, the uh, Mount of Beatitude, 
um, the Jordan River. I've also taken people, you know, teenagers hiking in the in the mm. stream or rafting rafting in the Jordan River or ATVs yes. and four by fours and even helicopter tours. I've taken wow. Parliament members and Canadian ministers and taken them on a on a tour to Jerusalem to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and the uh, the Western Wall and the Temple Mount and so many. I mean, this country has so many aspects. You can mm-hmm. easily spend here, you know, two weeks and um, and still uh, want to see more. More, yeah. I can just imagine. And, and what about for people who love to travel and shop? Uh, is, is there, um, uh, what's the scene like for fashion and, and uh, merchandise? So, for example, in some cities like, like in Jerusalem, like Acre, um, like Tel Aviv, you can you can find market with all kinds of um, um, souvenirs, you know, that are typical to the Holy Land. Well, nowadays, you know, a lot of it is made in China. After all, you have to tr- support the Chinese. Um, <laughs> but um, also the um, you know the diamond industry in Israel is um, very big, and uh, 50% of the world diamonds they go through Israel to be polished. So um, also you can find diamonds and jewelry um, and Dead Sea products, of course, and uh, basically everything. It, it goes from traditional, uh, colorful, um, let's say, Middle Eastern markets into um, fancy shopping malls. Wow. Okay. But it all depends on your taste. There's something for everyone. Something absolutely for everyone. Fantastic. And how many languages do you speak? Because I imagine you must uh, relate to many different people all the time. My uh, my Hebrew, my um, mother language is uh, is Hebrew. I um, I mostly guide people in English, but also mm-hmm. Spanish. I've learned in the past few years. I've learned Spanish, so I take also people in Spanish. And I have tour guides that work for me that can guide in almost any language you can think of from uh, Polish to Japanese and Chinese and uh, French and German and basically everything. Okay. So everyone um, can be communicated to. There is a rapport with anyone from any nationality. So that's great. So when they come to you, they're comfortable. Uh, they can relate to you. Language, and they make their – yes, and it absolutely enriches their experience there. So it's a wonderful thing. Um, have you had a lot of people from the Caribbean? I'm from Jamaica. I was just wondering if you've had some uh-huh. Indians come. Wow. Jamaica is a great country. It was my dream. You <laughs> see, Jamaica was my, my dream, and I, it came true. You know, I, uh, on my way back from South America, I stopped in Jamaica. And uh, actually, I'm, um, I have a group of people that mm-hmm. they come for a wedding uh, on October, um, a girl, a Canadian girl that marries, uh, her origin is from Trinidad, and she okay. marries an Israeli that also lives in Canada, and mm-hmm. they're going to come, and I'm going to take them on a, a four-day trip in, uh, in Israel with their guests, their wedding guests. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a wonderful, mm-hmm. wonderful treat. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. So how has your life been transformed? by getting involved in this? Like you've made so many people happy. You've made so many dreams come true. What's it been for you in your own personal journey of transformation? After uh, telling you about my background, basically the, the, the way I grew up, I cannot imagine my life uh, in any other way. I have the best job in the world. I travel, I meet people, I make them smile and cherish lifetime memories. And on the way, I can make my living. And uh, it's an honor. It's an honor. It's a responsibility. And um, it's truly the best job in the world. Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's a, a labor of love for you. So it's not even work because you're, you're just, you know, enjoying every single moment of it. So it's it's like a, yes. a a pursuit of passion but, for you. So it's fantastic. Yes, but don't don't tell my wife that. No, <laughs> okay. because she knows that you go someplace to work, right? Not to go and have fun. And, and I, uh, I enjoy awesome. I enjoy it too much. 
<laughs> Great. Well, she must get to travel with you sometimes, right? She actually she is, you know, and I'm uh, in my next trip now to um, New York and uh, Toronto. She's going to join me at the uh, the second part of it. Fantastic. Well, I, I hopefully I can meet her at the show taping. Uh, Yariv Yehen will be uh, one of the guests of the uh, Nikki Clark Show Live September 7th at the Paint Box Bistro. Uh, so you want to come down and meet the uh, the gentleman behind Israeli Guide Limited. And uh, your your wife will be there, hopefully? Uh, my wife, uh, unfortunately, she will meet me in New York only when I, uh, when I leave Toronto uh, on the 12th. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, then how can people connect with you uh, through social media or phone number? How can they uh, get involved in uh, the dream to Israel? Uh, it is very easy, actually. Uh, the company is called Israeli Guide. So if you, you know, the, the domain is uh, www.israeliguide.com. If you Google Israeli Guide, there we are. And um, as I mentioned earlier, I will be uh, coming to New York and Toronto from uh, mm-hmm. September 2nd to 18th. So basically in Toronto, I'm going to be from uh, uh, September 7th until the 12th. And I will be happy to meet anyone that is interested in traveling to Israel and give all the needed information in any place of uh, their comfort, no obligations, you know, just get information and, um, and would do that with, uh, with a lot of uh, joy and pleasure. Fantastic. All right. So you heard it. Uh, the way to connect with Yari of Han uh, is to go to www. Israel Guide. Israeli. Israeliguide.com, my mistake, sorry. And you, Yariv at Israeliguide.com is the email. Fantastic. And do you have yes, uh, a toll-free yes, number yes. that people can call? I also have a toll-free number. It's 1-888-8828-8828. Um, I'm not sure exactly how do you say it over there, but it is a very easy <laughs> number. Sure, absolutely. Well, I'm sure the number is posted again on uh, the website. So, mm-hmm. Yarev, yeah, thank you very much for uh, inspiring us all about uh, our trip to Israel. If, if you've never been there, this will be um, a wondrous uh, time for you to go and explore. I'm looking forward to it, and people who've been there already, well, make the trip again uh, and, and see it from a different set of eyes through um, the licensed tour guide, uh, Yarev Hen. And I want to thank you again for your time and looking forward to seeing you face-to-face in Toronto very soon. Thank you very much, Nikki. I'm looking forward to seeing you. We'll see you on the 7th. Excellent. Thank you so much. You've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on Hotline uh, with our very special guest, CEO of Israeli Guide Limited, Yariv Hen. And uh, we're going to be closing now. uh, But stay tuned for another great inspirational message on our next show. Take care. Thanks, Yariv. Thank you. Bye-bye.